I feel like the primary purpose of the state is gaslighting and information control. I think they know they don't have enough numbers to truly pose a threat to us. And they don't they know that if it came down to it, they have to live here too. So unleashing plagues and nuclear fire isn't really an option in terms of control. Yeah, sure, people don't want that, obviously. But they don't really need it. They don't need it because the school system starts the indoctrination young. And the school system teaches kids to only accept information from certain sources. And then all they need to do is maintain those sources with very specific modices um, that person's whole life and that person will mirror those modices. Like, why is it, after all the lies that they helped Nazi Germany tell, why is it that I can use the AP on an assignment? That's a question that a kid should ask. Why is it that I should be able to use the Washington Post when they were directly affiliated with a mega corporation who took money to store CIA data? I mean, one would think that the Washington Post would cease to be a valuable source on Intel unless you're willing to admit that the source is compromised by default but then like which sources aren't right which sources aren't I <laughs> I, 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 I watched with a, a certain amount of depression um, Bill Maher interviewing Cuomo. That Cuomo. The Cuomo who was hugely interest-conflicted and directly worked with the other Cuomo to manufacture the truth and the consent for it so that that Cuomo could get away with political corruption. And he was saying that most people are free agents. And that most people don't identify with either of the two main parties. Well, you would definitely think that. You would definitely say that um, if it meant that you could get some of these alternative thinkers to alternative think their way into your listenership for your new program, the Andrew Cuomo Project. What, what project? What project could you possibly be doing that's interesting at all? What, now that you're an outsider because you were massively corrupt, people are going to listen to you more? Fucking Why? You know? 
Or Nancy... It'd be like if Nancy Pelosi did it. After her verifiable corruption with the amount of money she made on the stock market. It'd be like putting Lockheed Martin in charge of fucking anti-war ministry. Like, why do we care what you think about anything, Cuomo? Well, because people like Bill Maher are right there to ease you into it. Because you glad-handed him enough. You said that you watch his show and you think that it's the, um, the real alternative. How is it the real alternative if it helps rehabilitate literal political corruption? So, that is just an example of it. It's just gaslighting. The state, use the state and the media, mega corporations that the state essentially created to push narratives and help one of the state rehabilitate their image. And now the person who helped him rehabilitate his image is getting new ways to rehabilitate his own. Nobody is going to <laughs> going down. Cuomo can can run the place into the fucking ground while people die. And he can then just go on Bill Maher to advertise his fucking show. You know? Well, I mean, not him. It, the, the sort of Cuomo octopus. The quoctopus, you could say. His, it, you know, they can just do that. The guy who helped him rehabilitate his image just gets off. Scott free Biden doesn't have to talk about how the vaccines that he said should be mandatory don't meet old definitions of vax that you can still get it and you can still transmit it even if you have them it's not at all about immunity it's about reducing your own symptoms. But he can gaslight you about it. He can gaslight you about whether or not this is a recession. Two consecutive quarters of decline is a recession. That's what everybody was saying forever. But now, we can't say that anymore because Biden and the White House Propaganda Corps want to gaslight us into believing otherwise. Because if you don't want to solve the problem, or if you know you can't solve the problem, rename the problem... So that you can claim it's not that problem. Gaslighting. And just do it enough, right? This is the official sources, right? The official sources are telling you this isn't a recession. And they're who you should believe, right? The official sources are telling you to watch the Andrew Cuomo Project, or whatever it's called. And, and that's going to be an official source now. You can quote that in your high school paper. Because it's official enough. Because he's not out of the club yet. 
even after all that corruption. You could quote Nancy Pelosi as an official source, even after all of her corruption. Even after how much money made off of, you know, major events to which she was privy? Remind me why Martha Stewart went to prison and she hasn't seen a bar. Because gaslighting, because she's with the officials. So she gets to dictate official policy and be an official source. If you lie at the behest of the establishment, you're fine. It's sort of like that motherboard tweet, that vice tweet, where they're literally telling people to take horse drugs. Vice is telling people to take horse drugs and then mocking people for taking human drugs that they were human prescribed by a human doctor. But now that it's about abortion, now you can take horse drugs. And tweets promoting taking horse drugs for abortion will not be given a misinformation tag. No missing context tag. Fucking why does anybody still trust these people? Well, because they've accepted the gaslighting. Because from cradle to grave, we are to mindlessly repeat what these people say. And if we don't, we're the misinformation people. We're the ones misinforming people. This is why we're going to lose. Not because of, of nukes. Not because of some mass cataclysm. That might come anyway. But we're going to lose because the common person is so wedded to the gaslighting. The U.S. can kill 1.5 million people in Iraq. And more elsewhere. With, with nice cheeky little nicknames for their aftermath, like the Highway of Death and the Trail of Tears. And just name a tragedy, this government has been behind it. At least in some way, right? They can do that and still be in charge of health policy. And homeland security. And domestic peace. A thousand people a year, on average, shot to death by cops. And that's just shooting. Not tasing to death. Not chemicals. Not beat the fuck to death like Kelly Thomas. Not asphyxiated to death like Eric Garner or George Floyd. Not... <laughs> Not any of the other methods. Just shot to death by cops. And these are your peace officers! All, all they have to do is change what words mean and they can be the security people. They can be the peace officers. They can be the fucking anti-corruption people. They don't have to actually be any of this. They don't have to actually stand by any of this. They don't have to be consistent. They just have to gaslight you into believing that that's what they are. And most people buy it.
at least to some extent. And they think that the, because like they're, they're, they're on Team Red or Team Blue or one of the, you know, ultimately failed third teams like Andrew Yang is trying to push forward or or like like the People's Party or any of these other third parties. Do you really think another political party is going to solve these things. Do you think that all of these mega-corrupt people who have created this system are going to give it up because you asked nicely? Because holy fucking shit, is that the ultimate form of gaslighting? Just ask us nicely. Write it down on a piece of paper. Tick it into a computer. We'll do what you say. Our massive corrupt empire will just poof out of existence if you ask enough. We won't find ways to redefine things. We won't find ways to get what we want anyway. We didn't build in fail-safes. We gave you... The keys to your cell. We are a massively evil historical world leaderboard leader in mass murder, rape, beatings, chemical weapons, fucking slash and burn, enslavement. But we're going to just go peacefully because you asked. And if anybody disagrees, we'll check their sources. If they're not one of our official sources, then they're one of those evil conspiracy theorists. And you can dismiss whatever they say. You know, we're not in a recession Prol. Get back to work and maybe we'll give you UBI. So that you can still live in this fucking fucked up system. <laughs> Just get back to the grindstone. You know? Do what we say. Quote our official sources. Participate in our official processes. And work for our official economy. Do it, Prol. And if you complain about corruption, we'll say we're not doing corruption by the latest definition of corruption. If you say it's a recession, we will say it's not what recession means anymore. Even though everybody's been saying the same fucking thing about recession for a long fucking time. We'll just say it's not what it is anymore. You don't think that uh, the, the, the big pharma that we've been pushing is like beneficial enough for you in your specific case? Well, you clearly just don't like vaccines, even ones that don't stop you from getting it and don't stop you from giving it. We just change what that means so that we don't have to um, justify our own force. And most people will go with it. That's the reason it's kind of difficult for me to avoid the thought that maybe they just wanted the Georgia Guidestones gone because they were too honest. They're going to need to reduce the population. They, the, the fucking rock said so. And Bill Maher is always all about the population agenda. Just this last week, coming out and saying, 
let the population collapse. How fucking appropriate. We're just supposed to let it collapse when the economy that built it to begin with relies on ballooning populations and will completely fuck after a certain amount of stagnating birth rates. Instead of just living more efficiently, stop making more humans. Will the elites do that? No, they won't. They get to keep fucking, they get to keep making people. You have to no longer contribute to the gene pool until it's fucking convenient for these people. This is why they want anarchy to mean chaos. Then, they can just make it seem like the only alternative is chaos. Simply demanding your freedom, not accepting their gaslighting, and not capitulating to their demands for official sources that reify their beliefs, that is fucking terrifying to them. Getting off the system that lets Nancy Pelosi rake in so fucking much money, that fucking devastates these people. Because they can't live without their systems of aggression. They can't live without these systems. They require them. That's why they need you gaslit from birth to death. Just complete indoctrination. A battering ram of new definitions, new speak, and attaboys for towing their line. Because without that, they might actually have to fucking work! And that might be a little bit more difficult than going up in front of everybody claiming one thing that is manifestly disprovable and telling everybody that if they disagree, they're some sort of traitor or they're part of the problem. That's what they do. AOC and Ilan Omar lied about having been arrested. They had their empty fucking non-cuffed hands behind their backs. They did that so that they could get sympathy for another issue that they created out of thin air in the form of this abortion thing. This whole thing is designed to remind people in the same way that, like, I think his name was Creedy on fucking V for Vendetta, um, remind them why they need us. It's always just that. Every single fucking time. It'd be a shame if we started to realize that we don't. And that maybe... These people are consistently corrupt for a fucking reason. And the reason is that the system that they built and demand we continue to build is fundamentally wrong and we could do without it. It's when we start to realize that we've got a lot more power together than we do begging them for the kinds of representation we want, that they lose all their power at once. So why don't you realize the gaslighting and smash the fucking state?